What's up, everybody? What's up, matriarchy? We got Chrissy D. We got Yanni P. I'm Mike Mush. Benatia the goddess. Uh, fight face and scrabble fingers. Yeah, that's yeah. Mike Emoji. All right, Michael, get some oxygen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you're Mike Mush. You know what, dude? Hear your fucking emoji face. No, emoji face. Let me fucking tell you something. First of all, talk to me. Let me talk to you because we've been we've been uh, we we've been gone. I've been gone for two weeks. I was in Disney, and right before that, I got to see the what our crew is like. What our crew is like outside the studio. And let me tell you something. First of all, Vanity is a dictator. Yeah. Vanity <laughs> sold fucking t-shirts. Like, I mean, she was selling it like people. She made you fucking buy that T-shirt. First you, of all, congratulations. Thank you to all the hyena fans for selling out oh your shows. Oh, my God. Thank you so much, Gotham Comedy Club. Thank you um, for uh, for selling out for me. Um, thank you to the Mazzillis for being classy. <laughs> We're back. And we're back. And thank, we're back. Thank you to the Mazzillis. You yeah. guys are the best owners in show business. Uh, Gotham Comedy Club, the best club in New York City uh, for headlining. It was perfect, beautiful, classy fucking joint. Um, I loved it all good. I, I loved it so much. The you hyena, loved it all good. Yeah. The hyenas came out. Venetia sold Paulie the Paulie Gassi was there. Yeah. Paulie Gassi was there. The fucking oregano's. And, uh, Prince C. Pizza was there? Yeah. Yeah, whoever, and by the way, I'm being serious right now because I have to deal with it. Whoever got Paulie Gassi's cell phone number from his Instagram and keeps texting him, tickle my Elmo, you got to stop. Wait a second. Somebody keeps, somebody. How did that happen? Because uh, so, he has his Instagram, he has his cell phone number on his Instagram, oh, and boy. he's pissed off, and he somebody keeps texting him, tickle my Elmo, and then sending him a picture, an emoji of Elmo with flames behind him. Yeah. Uh, and, <laughs> look, Paulie Gassi <laughs> will, can hurt you. Paulie Gassi can hurt so you. Stop doing and, that. And all the toots that are DMing me asking for Paulie's fucking Instagram, it's at Paulie Gassi. Stop, stop messaging me. Yeah, also the toots that are messaging Chris, stop stop messaging me. He's turning over a new leaf. Yeah, turn over a new leaf. I'm fucking celibate. <laughs> That's no gas. <laughs> it's what's going My on. My prostate's swollen. Yeah. So yeah. Congratulations yeah. about that. And then yeah. you took the baby down to Disney, which let me just say, for a kid that is born in Ridgewood, Queens, mm hmm Vacationing in Florida with his mother? Yeah. That's fancy. That's fancy. I mean, le let me tell you something. Were you in Florida? We were in Florida, and we sat JetBlue, yeah. and then they upgraded us to extra legroom, yeah. and my mother almost, a tear almost came down. She said, yeah. no, no, no. We're going extra legroom on the baby's first trip to Disney? Yeah. No. Yeah. And then, because my daughter, because we went to Atlanta, she sat first class. My daughter was like, these seats are too small. I was like, Delilah, you're you're three inches long, so every, every seat's fucking first class to you. Yeah. So, you know, <laughs> I was like... I was like, stop. But, I mean, we had a good time. You had a good time. You couldn't really enjoy it, though, because you have pro you have prostatitis. I have prostatitis. I have an inflammation of the taint. You have an inflammation of your prostate. Of my prostate that comes from eating spicy foods. Yeah, you got it from eating spicy foods. And right That's what I was told by the doctor. You just got an inflamed You Got an inflamed, got an inflamed tate. tate. So it's, I've been having to pee all day, every day, but I'm, I'm getting better. And the doctor actually told me, you know what the doctor's advice was? He said, drink a lot of water. What? Drink a lot of water or water if you go down to Pennsylvania. Can I get a water? Can I get a water or water? Can I have a diet, kid? And then he also told me to shoot some ropes. He said to fire up the Pornhub and start shooting ropes. He said, he said you got to get the glue out, too. He said, anything that moves through the urethra is good to go. It's just exercise. Clean the it urethra. out. Yeah, he said clean it out. Now, because you're younger than me. But, but I'm celibate, though. You're celibate. Re understand you're that. You're younger than me, but your prostate's older than me. My prostate got, my, let's be honest, my prostate's taken a beat, and we know why. We know why. Yeah. We certainly know why. But it's changed. I've turned over a new leaf. You turned over a new leaf. You turned over a new leaf, Chrissy. I'm turned over a new leaf, and I'm also turning over the right hand. I got a snapping fucking right hand. You do got a snapping right hand. It comes slow, but it comes strong. It comes strong. And Paulie. You're just not a kid with quick hands. I'm sorry. I don't want to be the bearer yeah. of bad news. Yeah. The videos, you do look like you pack a punch because you're a big butted kid and you yeah. carry a lot of weight in that lunch lady ass. Yeah. But your hands are a little slow. Well, Paulie Oregano Pills has been teaching me new techniques, okay? To, so to, stop texting him, tickle me, Elmo, because I'm the one who's going to get my head knocked off. You're going to get <laughs> Because make no mistake, Paulie's a loose candy's little Franks and beans. <laughs> Here, here's how the Russian doll equation works with Paulie Gassy and Chrissy, okay? You text Paulie Gassy to tickle his Elmo, okay? Then Paulie Gassy could fucking take your head off, but Chrissy will put your head in the mashed potatoes. So what do you want? Do you want mashed potatoes or do you want Paulie Gassy to maul you? It's one or the other. Also, I want to shout out the person who I was having a lovely day. Two, two, two kind people. Um, Walked up to me. Um, one, I was sitting at um, a cafe in Disney World. My daughter was just about to get an uh, autograph from uh, Daisy Duck. 
and somebody walking out saw me and my mother. really just a Mexican guy who doesn't speak English yeah, in there. Yeah, yeah, so she yeah. Basically okay. getting a Me- she was getting an yeah. autograph from an undocumented yeah. worker. And a couple of guys were walking out of Disney World, and somebody yelled, Chrissy Pre comes. So thank you for that. Wow. Uh, yeah, and then also the Our other— Our fans got kids. Yeah, and then the other, and then the other person, uh, the other uh, young woman, who thank you for coming up to me again in front of my mother— uh, and my daughter, while we were wait, waiting online to see uh, Frozen, uh, to tell me in front of my mother that I made the DILFs of Disney page. So I appreciate that, having to explain to my mother what a DILF is. Because um, she was like, I don't understand, honey, what is that? I said, Mom, it's just a thing that the kids say. She's like, but what is DILFs of Disney? It means I'm gonna look dads it up. I would love to flirt with. I said, it means dads in loving faith. It's a religion thing. I That's like what that. I said to her. Yeah. And I thought of it quick because I'm Chrissy White Lies, and I can just lie on the fly. You so are I thought of it immediately. I said, it's dads in loving faith. It's kind of like a religion thing. She goes, are you serious? I go, yeah. Yeah, you're a liar. I'm CWL Chrissy White lies. You lie a lot about things that don't matter. I've caught you in about seven of them. Well, it's and you boring get, otherwise. Yeah, and it's funny because you get defensive and you start snapping back. And it's just funny to watch. Yeah. Because you got caught in your little web of lies, your little manipulator. Well, my my maiden, my mother's maiden name is Webb, and that's I'm Chrissy Webb of lies. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was Carter. Uh, Kerner, Kerner. Is, Kern, Kerner is her, uh, my my grandmother's maiden name. So so the marriage name, the married into Webb. Yeah. Yeah. And your grandfather has another family. It's what it is. Your uncle's in jail on that side. But, That's just what it is. It's just what it is. Yes. He's in jail on that side. And then his other son is works in fucking, you know, is a Jets fan from Syosset. I don't fucking know. He messaged me on Facebook try, asking me to, about my skits. Yeah. And we want to also thank the cop today at the gas station that says he listens to hyenas. We got yeah. we got we got guys who protect the great laws of this country. Listen to this podcast. He walked up to us and said, "Thank you for your service." Um, but make no mistake, we're hiring a digital marketing firm because we got to market outside of New York a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's just what it is. Yeah, I just want to just say something quickly um, about Disney. Um, I had a great time. Um, I was there with my mom um, and my daughter, and it was beautiful to see my daughter. Be happy and have a smile on her face. But the hypocrisy, if you don't think there's a little sinister energy in Disney, you got another thing coming. Because make no mistake, Mickey Mouse is a piece of shit. Okay? And let me tell you why. Yeah. So first of all, you got kids running around everywhere, right? You can't find a fucking straw in any of the Disney property hotels anywhere in that park. You cannot find a straw. And if you do find one, it's paper. You got children everywhere that need straws. My daughter was spilling her juice all over because they want to protect the fucking turtles. Okay? So you, you're serving me spy, uh, uh, high salt, high, f- high fat content food. You can't find anything healthy there. It's chicken fingers, fries, fat fucks on, on scooters everywhere you go. To get my daughter's hair done at the Bippity Boppity Boutique inside the Magic Kingdom and make it look like Cinderella cost me $600. What? To get into the park, to get into the park, it's $109. To stay at the hotel, it's about $600 a night. So you'll rape the fucking human beings and kill us, but thank God the turtles are fucking safe in Australia. So the bullshit that Disney puts out and people like... No, you know, no disrespect to Lynn, I, I love you, but consumers like that and these other people on their motorized scooters just fall in line and are conditioned for this bullshit. It's bullshit. What I went on, I, I'm happy to see my daughter having fun. I guarantee you if I would have just taken her to a German Christmas market in Berlin, which is what I wanted to do in the first place, she would have been just as happy and learned some more things there than at Disney just coming back to New York, being fucking cracked out on sugar, cracked out on lines, Cracked out on too much of fucking Goofy going, I should have just taken her back to Deutschland and show her where she came from. Yeah, that's what you should have done. Yeah. My family never did that, uh, the Disney yeah. stuff like that. They did the other stuff. So I yeah, will say they went that, to Greece and you would hide. Yeah, well, you that's, hide the, that's the, the problem is, is like you're actually giving your daughter a childhood, which is like that. I, my parents just took me to movies like Jagged Edge and then I couldn't sleep for four years. Yeah. <laughs> so there's that alternative. While you're still protecting her from the harshness of the world and, she, and she, she's signing, she, you know, she's signing fucking autographs with a yeah. daffy duck. She has no idea there's an undocumented worker in there. Yeah. My parents would tell me there's an undocumented worker in there. So I didn't have a child. You didn't have a child. So I yeah. think you're doing the right thing. Yeah. But and next, the but, straw thing is an issue. But next Christmas. Make no mistake, next Christmas, where I'm going, I'm taking my daughter to a German Christmas market. It's going to be me and her. We're going to have some daddy daughter bonding time, and we're going to Germany, and we're going to fucking peruse yeah. around a little German Christmas market. And if you and Mrs. Pappas have a little one by then, then you guys can come too. I'm paying for everybody. Yeah, and we'll bring Venetia too because she does. She's going to be my wife. Yeah, she's going to be your wife, and she does some sort of business in Greece. Yeah, so it's that's what it is. We're just going to bring I'm on her. a work trip. 
Yeah, she's yeah. on a work trip. Work. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. roll, roll. Finally, Zach figured out the other buttons. We recorded so many of them for a while. He was just going ward and dope. He was crushing it on last episode with he, the buttons. I mean, Zach's on fire. Zach's been crushing it. Every Anytime Zach is on the hot seat about to get fired, he just comes in and makes a stay. <laughs> and then we start to think about firing other people. Yeah. 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 I'm going to fire you before I fire Zach. Yeah, I'm going to fire you. Yeah. Because let's do an episode where we try to fire each other. Yeah. Uh, Zach, can we also get the, the you know what it is in different languages? I like that too. I do like S L O K S the best, but I right. also miss the German and the Greek and the Swahili or whatever. Yeah, the Swahili was nice. Yeah. Um, but but Gotham uh, Comedy Club was fantastic. Disney World, fantastic. I, I was out of New York City though for too long. Yeah. And you know, like as a, as I am, Jan, it's like uh, I can't even though I was with the, the uh, my daughter and oh, my I mother. I know you, Chrissy. You know, I was with the Two people that I love the most, that I want. My daughter's, I just want to be near her anyway. That's who I always miss. I found myself that, like, it's like, I think that in this order, the three people that I love the most. If I'm not in this, I'm crying. No, are Delilah number one. (laughs) Yeah. New York City number two. My mom number three. Wow, I like that, though. Yeah. Yeah, Yeah. I like that, though. (laughs) But I got to be number four through seven. Yeah, you're four through seven. And because if you think. Where am I in four through seven? Because if you're you're, you're a four, five, six, and seven. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. If you think that you're going to be able to close on that house and move out of Bay Ridge, you got another thing coming. Cause okay, I'm going to light that fucking house on fire that's up in Westchester. I'm going to yeah. light it on Let's fire. Let's just start saying Westchester, by the way, because in the past you've been a little specific about where yeah, I'm moving. Just- <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. If you no. think that I'm going to let you leave Bay Ridge, you got another thing coming, okay? I'm just going to make it so that you can't leave. Well, I'm, I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to let the air out of your tires. I'm just going to do something. I want to help you move and then I'm staying. Well, what's going on is I'm keeping my apartment in Bay Ridge just to be close to Chrissy. Cuz you know what's going to be funny is I can't afford both. You're going to hire movers, you're going to hire movers and you're going to be unpacking boxes and then I'm going to pop out of one. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think I'm just gonna take emoji face and just I'm gonna move him into my apartment. Yeah, I, what's gonna unfortunately for emoji face is what's gonna happen is because I'm gonna get angry. Yeah. that you're not around me and, and you're I, just gonna tickle him. I'm, I'm gonna start punching emoji in the stomach. <laughs> you gotta <laughs> punch through. Yeah, you get. Yeah. Even though I love him, I'm just gonna abuse him. Like I'm just gonna abuse him, my friend, because I'm mad that you're gone. Uh. Yeah, you're gonna. What you're gonna do is displace anger a little bit. Is yeah. what you're gonna do. Okay, you know what I mean. Like when you get caught in a lie, yeah, you start going fucking, all over the place. I'm, move, I'm just gonna move everybody up to fucking Westchester. Why the Sweet hell not? Situation. Everybody's fucking. Why coming. the fuck not? Let's I'm just, just gonna buy fucking. Listen, I'm doing all right. I'm gonna fucking blow it all. I'm gonna buy a fucking huge house. It's gonna have six bedrooms. Everyone can come. Fucking bathtub guy that squeaks. Situation. Everybody's coming. <laughs> Kids. Everybody's coming. Fucking baby's mom is. She's coming too. I'll yeah. fucking. I'll, I'll. I'll. I'll get her out of the house. I'll have a Fanta. I, I'll, we'll get her out. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave a trail of Fanta. By the way, Fanta was really big in Greece before it got big everywhere else. Yeah, it's orange. It's basically orange soda. Yeah, everybody's coming. Yeah, everyone's yeah, coming. Co- Fanta was started by Coke to sell soda to Germany during World War II. There you go. Oh, that's a little what we call H H F O D. Brought to you by Emoji Face, who he's supposed to write a new one every episode, and he hasn't written one yet. I have. We just haven't gotten to them. Let's see, let's start this episode with your. Which uh, emoji face HHFODs? Oh, for the uh, for the crusade? Just whatever one. Oh wow, Mike's got one for the crusades. Yeah, yeah. He's showing you. He's saying, "Listen, you honestly fuck face." He's like, "Listen, guy, I'm waiting for you guys to fucking set me up. You haven't, because all you do is talk about how you're gonna be in each, each other's moving boxes." <laughs> <laughs> well, Guido de uh, Big Ivano uh, was a royal uh, apothecary, basically. You know what apothecary is? Uh, is an apothecary like a um like a like a pharmacy kind of thing? Exactly, it's yeah. a pharmacy. Yeah. Apo- apothecary is a pharmacy. Yeah. They didn't really have doctors. They just had guys who guessed at shit. And yeah. uh, there was just one poisonous plant they would use, aconite, also called monkshood, that they would use on, 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 uh, as a weapon. Uh, the Muslims would use on the Christians. And he noticed that slugs were able to eat that plant. Mm-hmm. And then uh, so he, decided, he, he found out that he could just boil those slugs, make a soup out of them, and then give that as an antidote. So wow. he did all this research, made himself sick, killed a bunch of animals, and then Philip's crusade didn't even take off after that. So. Wow. Wow. So, so, and he was Muslim? No, 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 no. Christian found the, the, the Muslims initially kind of, it was, so that's like bio terror warfare. Yeah. 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 Or so, it's an ar- archaic form of it. Archaic yeah. form of it. So he, so he kind of was smart enough to know that the slugs can eat that and c- created like a, wow, interesting. 
that's a. I think Mikey just came out of the gates on the first yeah. emoji face fact of the day. Swing it. Yeah, because Mike said, listen, Mike's like, listen, I know that Trump's going to get in again, and I got a real chance of getting thrown back over the wall, so I need you guys' support. Yeah, he said. That's like, what he's saying. He said, so let me dig down and work hard, or else I'm going to just be in Juarez before you know it. Yeah, it's what it is. <laughs> now. We gotta rate that. What what emoji are you giving that? I'm giving that a I'm giving that a big um well we let the, the problem is the emoji faces are in my apartment. So I'm gonna get them. Yeah, we need those. Yeah, I'm gonna get them. I've just been all over the place. I got prostitutes. Yeah, you got prostitutes. I'll put we, them on the screen. So tell me which one. Yeah, I'm going, I'm going with I'm going with I'm going with a a, a nice big smile for that one. Because yeah. I'm happy that the first one went well and I really enjoyed that fact. I'm gonna also go with a smile. Two fucking smileys. I'm, I'm, I think a smile because Benetia, what are you doing? A smiley? You, are you doing a, a thinking emoji? Are you doing? We don't have the emojis. I can't I remember them all. Grimace. We should I love heard. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> robot Benetia is coming in hot. Robot Benetia is. I love Robot yeah. Benetia. Can I date Robot Benetia? <laughs> Does Yaya have a problem with that? Probably not, not dope. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm in a relationship with Robot Benetia, and we're celibate. Yeah. <laughs> So I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because the fans can't tell whether that's robot they don't know. or real Venetia. Yeah, Mrs. Poppas had no idea, right? She yeah. thought that she, she thought, thought that Venetia was in the room. Yeah. But it was robot Venetia. You know, uh, I say Grimmins. Like it's a smile, but like a cheesy. Nice. Nice. Three upvotes. Yeah. So I think that's good. Does that's Zach's good. vote matter or is it only for Well, spaces? it's yeah, it's it's kinda like it's from an infidel. Yeah. So yeah. It's yeah. Zach votes eggplant. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah, always so just folks eggplant. Yeah. So yeah, that's your new segment. We, we will have the smiley faces eventually, and we Mike will be giving us a fact, an H H F O D based on whatever the episode is on that day. So that was a little crusade effect because we are going to be talking about the fucking crusades. And the crusades were, let me tell you, Bubba's a while. Let's just call it what it is. Like I said, Christians versus Muslims is the greatest, oldest sports rivalry in history. And this was the championship. It was a nine-game series. And the Muslims won eight to one. They won eight to one. But, but, but I think... When you cross over and get to the other side, I think that the Christians are going to be welcomed as the victors. You think so? I think that the Muslims have an unfair advantage because Allah is the only true God. Well, you can. That's back- an unfair advantage. Well, the thing the, that's the, like having Shaquille O'Neal. Well, the, the reason why I, I mean the the thing is with 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 even though I'm I'm a celibate kid in Muslim heaven, you could just bang out. You could bang chicks out. Virgins. You could bang out virgins. Yeah. That's when you go to Muslim heaven. In Christian heaven, I don't know if you, unless I'm going to the gay part of heaven, I'm not going to bang anybody out. That's right. It was made in the gay part of heaven. I think you, I think the, I think that all the blessings that you have rain down from the gay part of heaven. Yeah. That's what I think it is. And it's not, I feel like the reason why we've gotten so many Patreon, we have a lot of Patreon members to read. So, so many people have went to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys is because I think now, because we have a true representative of the matriarchy and Mr. Chris Pappas up in the gay part of heaven right now, helping rain down more members. I think that you're going to see a nice turn because I think they were just waiting to welcome a gay to the team up to heaven and we got our gay. We do yeah. got our gay. Yeah, yeah, we do got our gay. Yeah. So it's what it is. Yeah, we did. We did. I think ultimately, we have to admit that the Muzzies definitely. Yeah, the the Christians went up game one. Yeah. So the first crusade, there was nine different crusades. Yeah. And the first seven were really like kind of relevant. The last three, like they didn't even make it. They just got killed along. Well, the one way. of them, one crusade, I forgot what it was. The child not, crusade. Well, no, that one, but 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 that one of them was just Christian the Christians went out to crusade and then they just started crusading against each other. I mean it just turned into a fucking civil war crusade. Yeah. They're they, Franks and Beans. Whoever that group was was a little Franks and Beans. They were a little Franks and Beans. They also fucking they also sacked Constantinople. They just were Franks and Beans. And they changed the name to Istanbul, which is a little black. Yeah, guy. but no, they started attacking Constantinople and they were the Crusaders. They were a little Franks and Beans. Now, the thing is, with the Crusades, uh, even though it was very brutal, it brought a lot of, it brought, first of all, hygiene. It, 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 the, when the Christian, before the Christians went out and crusaded to the Middle East and started, they never had seen any other people that didn't look like them. They just, they were living in France and Germany and England and not leaving their little islands or their little huts. So they looked barbaric, like they truly looked barbaric with the Middle East. What everybody was clean. They had soaps. They took baths. They ate the right foods. They had science. So really, a lot of things. The Crusades are real. A bit. It was kind of the first kind of movement ever where Europe got like woke. Europe wasn't woke at all before they met the Muslims. Yeah. Well, in a way. no, they were, and they were with Rome, and then they they dipped down when religion dipped up. We've talked about that a lot. Yeah. Where it's like whatever reasons on the rise, 
faith is on the decline and it seems like people do better whenever faith's on the rise and reason's on the decline it doesn't do as good and this is an era you know this is the dark ages this was the medieval times in europe and the arab world was flourishing they also had conquered all the way up to spain a little bit Yep. So they ran Spain. Yeah, they got up in there and they got uh, up there and they're like, "Who is this? Who is this Crusaders?" Yeah, and Europe got split. Europe was split because of the schism of 1054. Holy Roman Empire was split into the East and West, and also the cat the Christian Church split between the Catholic and the Eastern Russian and Greek Orthodox. What it ended up becoming so it was Eastern Orthodox and the Catholic split. The, so so Europe was Europe was fucking stupid. They were stupid and everybody in the Crusades what it was all about was Jerusalem who was sent on another ep- who who Jerusalem was basically like Jerusalem was it was kind of like New York City, no? I mean what's the most important city in the world? New York City. Right? So Jerusalem was a very important city to these groups right now. It was it was it was, it was important to the Jews, it was important to the Muslims and it was important to the Christies. It feels like everybody's always trying to get their pauper paws on Jerusalem. Yeah. Because no matter what, if you believe or not, the kid Jesus was a star. The kid Jesus sold tickets. No matter what way you fucking slice it, that kid Jesus sold tickets. But I the, mean, the kid's selling tickets to all these dances. The only problem is he, he only sold tickets after... Your hair life. looks hilarious right now. You look like a Dominican grandmother. <laughs> That's no <laughs> <cast>. <laughs> I just got a little lightheaded. Am I okay? I'm having these shifts in blood pressure. Is you're gonna go down? Yeah. Is that- as long as your prostate's not swollen, it doesn't matter. I I'm a little concerned turkeys. about these little dips I get in blood pressure. Well, because we're screaming, we're tired. We already did, we did four podcasts today. Yeah. Oh my Vanit- God. Yeah. Vanity is scary. Mm-hmm. Dead ass. <laughs> 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 So it's just like, you know, and we haven't eaten. I mean, Veneti, we got snacks. We, you, you ate half a cheese and a fucking orange. Yeah. You know, I we mean, you have, look cute. We did have meatball subs. Before. We had meatball subs. I had eggplant because I don't eat. I don't eat meat anymore. No. I'm going back to being vegan. No. Yeah. No, you, you got to. Uh, yeah. You got to. You got to really take whatever medicine the doctor's giving you to make sure that prostate returns to a normal size. Yeah. We got to get the taint down. Yeah. You got to get that taint down. So what this can you do? What can you do? So, you know. The Muslims were on the rise, and they they swept into Europe all the way up to Spain, you know. And then, so what happened was uh, Pope Urban II, right, was a kid who was like, you know what, I we need to get we need to capture the Holy Land, and it was really, really, uh, you could say he wanted to. It was a move to kind of secure that border to sort right. of, from their perspective, kind of push. Push Muslims back. Well, because the and because the Seljuk Turks. Because I know if you said you would say the Seljuk dirty Turks, because you don't have a good relationship with them. But I would say the Seljuk Turks. I'm just going to do this because Germany here we have no problem with Turks. Yeah, the they, Greeks. They in, really weren't. They weren't very kind to you. We've been having a disagreement for a the couple Turks of gave the Greeks a lot of boo boos. <laughs> they did give a lot yeah, of boo boos. They were they were bad boys. Bad, bad, bad. They took um, your coffee. Yeah, they yeah they took your coffee. That's it. Yeah. Um, okay, so the Seljuk Turks, they had taken over the Byzantine Empire, which was that Eastern Empire that you were saying, capital Constantinople, blah, 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 yeah. Emperor Constantine. And um, the Byzantine Emperor at the time, Alexis I, asked Pope Urban II for knights to help him fight the Turks. Now, the truth is, it's like, it wasn't, who cares? Like, Pope Urban II was like, it's not my fucking fight, guy. But he wanted to kind of get more land and unify the Christian kingdom. So he was like, I'll do this. Let's make the Turks the enemy. But the truth is, the Christians were probably being more motherfuckers than the Turks were. Well, they were definitely more backwards at the time. Right. You know, it's hard to say, but I mean, like, they definitely fell into the Dark Ages. And everyone was really religious, and that was sort of the consequence of Christianity that Constantine initiated. You know, it went from an age of reason to right. to sort of just an age of faith. Don't question anything. And the soldiers, the thing is that there, there were knights. There were like 30,000 Christian knights, but not Most all. Most of which were French kids. They were French kids, but a lot of them were peasants that had no idea how to fight. You know, they were, they were just kids like, you know, if, the, if this was if this was the first during the first crusade, we would just have to put our podcast mics down and go fight. Yeah. And here's the thing. If you're it's doing, not easy to do with a swollen prostate. If you're doing good and there's people around you that aren't doing good, tribes not doing good or another civilization not doing good, it's inevitable you're going to get evaded. It's just, just what's what going to happen. Is, right? The poor kids are just going to attack you. Yeah. It was like when I was a kid, you know, New York had poor neighborhoods and good neighborhoods. If you were in a good neighborhood, you knew that you just might get invaded and plucked off and robbed. It's just what happened in New York City. Now, Pope Urban II gave a very famous speech where he said, Du svart! 
which means God wills it. And what he yeah. was saying to the people, to the cut, because let's be let's be honest, yeah. most of the army were Franks and Beans. They were poor, like you said, poor kids. A lot of the apostles, Jesus' apostles, just poor kids. They need a message. You know, that's why, like, even the poor people in our community, you know, they'll think that Hillary Clinton is saying the right things. It's like they just don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> Wei Shan Xian, I'm just kidding around. I'm Wei just, Shan Xian. Yeah, they'll just... So it's just like poor people in general, or people that they need guidance because they don't like what they see in the mirror, even though mirrors weren't invented yet. They don't like what they see in it the puddles. They certainly had mirrors. In the reflections of their puddles. They didn't like... Don't come to our podcast for history f accuracy. They didn't... I don't think they had mirrors. I think they had mirrors. I don't think they had mirrors. I Google, think, I don't think they had mirrors yet because a lot of these kids, I don't think they were able to see what they look like. <laughs> um, so... So what he said, what he said was God wills it. What he was saying, he, the message that he said, and, and these people bought it because they weren't educated. Nobody could read. There weren't even books at that time in Europe. He said, God wills it. And it means if you go fight for this crusade and you go kill these Muslims, not only will we give you money, but you can bring back to your family, which he knew nobody was making it back alive. Two, he said, so we'll give you money. And then he said, two, in the afterlife, you're going to get into heaven guaranteed no matter what sin you've committed. So people, because of that power of religion, they went. They're like, you know what? We'll kill these Muslims, even though they really had no beef with them at all. They said, if we're going to get into heaven or our family's going to get money, we'll do it. Yeah, so they marketing, were marketing, baby. Yeah, they were basically doing, I think, what Islam, a lot of like radical Islamists do now. Yeah. You say, yeah, you get versions in the afterlife if you fight for jihad. You know, because what happened was it was funny. Like the, the West kind of rose first with Greece and Rome. And the Arabs were kind of, you know, a little behind. And then Europe fell into a dark Asians and the and the dark ages and the Arab world kind of rose up. And then the Arab world kind of got a little too religious and fell into a dark ages. And then the West kind of came back. So it's when, kind of been a seesaw back and forth. When did the mirrors were invent when were mirrors invented, Venetia? It says the earliest was in uh fifteen forty BC. So it's right around the time of the Crusades of ten ninety five AD. <laughs> Just about a thousand years, thousand three hundred years 4, off. Five hundred <laughs> Yeah. Give or take 25 hundo. Yeah. What can you do? So the first crusade, <laughs> the first crusade was actually successful by the standards of, uh, of the West because they did capture control of Jerusalem and they had it for a while after that. Um, and so they got the, they, they were able to capture control. And the uh, knights were, were not good. They weren't being fucking cute at all. They killed Muslims. They burned a whole bunch of Jews alive in a synagogue. I mean, that's not cute. That's brutal. No, no, no. These were kids. These were the about as. These kids were from Ridgewood, no? These kids were as bad as you can get. I mean, these kids. Think about how what kind of person you have to be to survive even a walk three thousand miles, right? Yeah. And, and back in the day, there was no roads. It's like you, you, they had you to get eaten by animals on the road. They were probably killing along the way, raping and pillaging, killing along the way just to survive. So they had to survive all that. Weather they didn't have good shoes. Nobody had New Balances back then. Then they marched. Nobody had orthotics. No, because they marched from the west, from like around France over there, all the way down to the Middle East. They walked it. And they walked into an area where they were outnumbered like 100 to 1. I and mean, just this walk Arab world. So there's just like a fleet of crazy yeah. fucking savages. Yeah. And they won. So imagine how savage they had to be. Imagine they had Fitbits. Yeah. I mean, they just scared everyone because somehow <laughs> they brought everyone to their knees on that first crusade. <laughs> <laughs> but they were wild, like, the way that they fought it, though. They were just, as Chris was saying, that they just, like, went for it. They weren't Wait, is this fighter. robot Venetia or real Venetia? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know which one it is now either. Dead ass. <laughs> 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 no, but they had, um, I thought it was interesting, the part. Catapulted was, fire. Yeah, each they other. Greek fire. Catapulting fire, but also how they would charge at, you know, their enemies, that they would be yelling and just, uh, just saying nonsense just to scare them. And th Word. just that in like early human battle, just just the Muslims yelling was enough, was a defense. They were like hyenas in a way. Wait, chaos. The, they caused Muslims chaos. Or the Christians did that. Christians oh, Christians did yelled, Christians. sorry. And the Muslims were like, what are you doing? Word, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they were savages, man. Imagine these guys, they were dressed in those tr chain fucking hoods. Mm. They were knights, basically. And they started to go wild. Didn't they walk around this out perimeter of Jerusalem barefoot for like... A day, and the Muslims like, "What are you doing?" And yeah. they just lit them up with Greek fire. Yeah, someone thought that they had a uh, message from God that they should go around uh, barefoot around Jerusalem, and then they should attack, kind of like scout the scene, and then go. And they won the battle. Like, go figure. But they were catapulting fire. What else were they doing? They were uh, like 
throw animal blood at them. Well, and, the, would, and, and then the Christians, what I like, because innovation is dope. I mean, well, you always say, inven- um, what is it? Um, necessity is the mother of invention. invention. I don't say that. The, the famous Greek expression. fire, the Greek, Mr. Pano says it. Yeah. The <laughs> Greek fire. Absolutely, baby. That they were throwing at um, the, the, Mus- the, Muslim, the Muslims had the Greek fire. The Muslim, but, no, oh, the, no, the, the Muslim Christians had the Greek fire. The Greece is in the Christian part of Europe. What's yeah. the problem with this stupid fucking German monkey here? The Muslims had the Turkish coffee. The, the Europeans Muslims had the Greek fire. Muslims had nothing. They're fucking shitty people. They're, they're stupid people. They're, tur- they're not even human. They're Way Turkish. So the Turkish people. They're not even human. They're monkeys. So what happened was. The, 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 the Europeans came to fight for Jesus Christ. And they go there and they say, you stupid people, and we crush them because we have a great genius on our side, baby. It's character piece. That's right. It's a character piece. Malaka. This has nothing to do <laughs> with anything, but the Greeks is superior people. And this is how come the crusades, the crusades happen and the Europeans beat these fucking monkeys. It's, it's a character piece. That was our friend, Mr. Pano. We go to his diner, we get Turkish coffee. That's just a guy. He's, <laughs> a, he's got a hot dog. I banged her out. Yeah, he's a Greek guy from the old world. He's got. He he has a. He's a little bit upset with the Turks. It's just what it is. He stole their coffee. That's all it is. Yeah. Um, and you know what else got invented? And here? you have to dead the Greek. You know what else got invented here, which is a cute little weapon? The crossbow. Ooh, Ooh, the crossbow. Ki- yeah. That would go through my scully wally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so. So the crossbow was invented. Yeah, I mean, they were um, they were good. They might have been shitty and dirty and and uh, have bad hygiene, but these kids were, were like stone-cold killers. Yeah. The first crusades especially. So the first crusade was won by the Christians. Yeah. That, and the, then uh, the second crusades, things get a little dicey. We only won game one. Yeah, the muzzies <laughs> came out or like... Praise be to Allah. See you later. Yeah, they kind of pushed everything back. Yeah. and uh, But you know what? On that first crusade, we got... Uh, I keep saying we. I have to stop saying that. Yeah, because I'm a Muslim. Yeah, the Christians got control of Jerusalem. Um, and uh, they also set up Crusader Kingdoms. Yeah. So though Crusader that, Kingdoms. Yeah. So they had a few like weird names. I can't remember the names. Krucker or some, some fucking name. Well, yeah. it... Go ahead, go ahead. No, I just found it interesting that, you know, the, they're all fighting because, you know, what's the purpose of them fighting? It's because that they both believe that this is holy land that, you know, it, yeah, I don't know what's going on. And in it's Jerusalem. still it's still a problem. Still today. A problem. Well, everyone wants their hands to get their pauper paws in Jerusalem like it's some sort of hot chick. I've been to Jerusalem. It's a fucking shithole. I don't know what you guys are doing, but Chicago's better. You went to Jerusalem? There we yeah. go. When, back. when did you go to Jerusalem? I've been Tell to us Jerusalem. about that guy. My cousin-in-law is um is from that uh, part of the world. When did you go there? I, uh, guy, I must have been, let me see, guy. Ninth grade? Ninth grade, that was probably my fourth trip to Disney. Yeah, I mean, no, I was there, much <laughs> like Vanity, I was there on, on, I just on important business. On important business, yeah. <laughs> I was doing import export business or something like that. Yeah, some- you go? I'm on a work trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm on a work trip is a great drop. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah. No, Robot Vanity is the, the fifth mic. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> Robot Vanity is hilarious. Yes. Uh yeah, I went, I went. Yes, yeah, so I've been to Jerusalem, I've been to Tel Aviv, I've been to Haifa. Um, but Jerusalem What's the cutest place though? Tel Aviv, man. Tel, Tel Aviv's a fucking that. major city. Love so that. Jerusalem's poo poo, but Tel Aviv sure, Jerusalem's like a fucking Everybody it's like goes- an old fucking city, man, with like you know, stones and shit. I mean, it's it's like it, it's almost like you're going into a museum. It's nice for that, but as far as like a city, you're going like you guys are fighting over this. It's like going to Gettysburg. Yeah, I mean, it's yeah. like what are you guys doing over here? Well, everybody's celebrating. Like a lot of people go to pray at the wall, um, which is uh, let's not call them everybody. Let's just call them what they are, fanatics. I mean, did you go to Jerusalem? Yeah, I have been to Jerusalem. It was. <laughs> it was beautiful. I went to the. Um, Dome of the Rock, that was gorgeous, but they wouldn't allow it. Um, oh, you went there on a business trip? I was there <laughs> visiting my friend. Marketing. And, uh, yeah, we went to go to uh, visit all around. It was gorgeous. And I they wouldn't loved, let you in, you said? They wouldn't let my friend in because he was speaking Hebrew and because of, like, all the conflict that's happening. They were like, oh, I don't think you should go up to the Dome of the Rock to go visit because of uh, what was happening then. And so he said no. Wait, American. but you're in Jerusalem. I thought you could speak Hebrew. Yeah, no, appara- well, apparently there's, like, some conflict now with um, the Dome of the Rock because it's also, like, Muslims go and pray there. That's Got also, it. Yeah. But also Jewish people think of it as uh, their holy place as how well. How far so is Jerusalem from the border of Palestine? 
It's all very close. It's, it's all very, close. very close. Yeah, it's actually yeah. parts of Jerusalem that are... You can, like... Right? Are Palestinian? How does it work? Israel, like, for a few huh? hours. I don't know. Yeah. Is are, Adam... Are you, you just asking him because he's Jewish? Yeah, I th- figured... Yeah. But the kid's Frank's Beans. No, he's not. He's actually fucking... Uh, he, he, he's got a lot of followers. He's so also fucking... We need to get him on the mic. He's, he's fucking also, jacked. He's also fucking jacked. He's fighting for the Jew army. Yeah. <laughs> By myself, I'll take you physically. I mean, Zach, yeah, Zach, Zach's, Zach's good at the drop. You're not getting fired. Yeah, you're just good at the drop. Because we're about to have a talk, but you're back in. <laughs> Mike, get out. <laughs> Dope. Yeah. No, I'm kidding. Oh, uh, man. But anyways, the thing uh, with circling back to the Crusades, that Muslims uh, were there in Jerusalem because they knew that uh, this is where their prophet ha- uh, lived and ascended into is that what it was saying? Yeah, something Into like that. what? I mean, you know, Into I mean, what? Oh, what? What Muslims call it heaven? Yeah, they're they're yeah. afterlife, the heaven. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. start. That Muhammad start. had ascended to heaven. Yeah. That's yeah, what, just whatever. So both whatever of them you, had shared uh, thoughts on the land, so they both wanted it. Yeah, they couldn't yeah. share it. Whatever apparently. floats your yeah. boat, Toots. I mean, whatever, a, whatever you're doing. What you're basically yeah. saying? <laughs> this, this is a real <laughs> reasonable war. This one. I mean, Jesus Christ! It used to be people it's fought a good kid. Fought over resources or land. Now they're just fighting over what what they feel like is holy land, as if God would pick a spot on the globe and say this is more valuable than other spots. People are fucking stupid. It's like if God was going to pick a spot that was going to be the holy land, it'd be two words: Yankee Stadium. It would be Yankee Stadium. So it's like you guys want. Or, or, or fucking Manhattan, New York City. Yeah, it's like, guy, nobody care. I mean, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. That's where it would be. That's okay. where the Verrazano is, guy. You missed it. If you're doing a Finding Nemo treasure hunt for where the holy fucking land is, it's between Staten Island and Brooklyn. It's called the Verrazano. Yeah, I'm going to pass if, out. If you want to see the bridge between heaven and hell, just go to the Verrazano Bridge because Bay Ridge is heaven, Staten Island's hell. That's what it Giannis is. Giannis is going down, but we're going to keep going. The podcast, keep listening to this episode because he may go down, and we're going to get it on for our Patreon members only. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge pot. I need a water. I brought Yaya's cookies. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God, I need a water. Mike's a fucking cute kid. Every yeah. time Mike gets up, I just go a little point. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. No, do you want? Do you need two waters? I mean, what's going on with you, babe? You all right? You don't have one. You all right, hun? What do you think it is? Did you not eat? I ate, though. No, but it's not that much. One meal a day is not that much, right? Yeah, you started eating at one. You had two cups of coffee, no water, a meatball sub hero. And a beet and, salad. And, and an orange and a beet salad. Yeah. yeah, you're a fucking gay guy. Is that enough? That's not enough food. You had a little beet salad? Um, okay, so that was the second crusade. The third crusade, which was known as the King's Crusade, this was kind of a biggie-wiggy because all the kings of Europe combined to go fight one guy in the Muslim faith named Saladin, who was the Sultan of Egypt. And make no mistake, the kid Saladin beat all the kings of Europe. He beat them all back, which is wild, which is one of the rare examples where the white man doesn't win in history. Wei, Wei Songxian. <laughs> Thank you. Woke. Just kidding. <laughs> No, but it's true. Saladin, Saladin, the Sultan of Egypt. No, 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 not the white thing. I'm saying he really, he beat, he was able to beat, I mean, King Richard the Lionheart of England, who's a very famous king. They did not win. The only thing that happened is because of that war and how bloody and gory it got, Sultan uh, Saladin did allow um, the Holy Land to be back open to the public, I believe. Yeah. Well, that was, uh, that, yes. was, that was towards the end. That was the sort of pyrrhic victory. Well, that's the third crusade. Um, no, we're still in the third crusade. Oh, so that was the great G- General Saladin was the Muslim was was a, was a general. He was the Sultan of Egypt, but he was a general, and he defeated the Christian armies. And the Crusade overall was unsuccessful, but Saladin opened up the land to the public, so it's kind of like a little victory. anyone anyone could go and you check can it go out. like yeah, it's open to the public now. Yeah, except like, for Venetia's friend, who we know why they weren't allowed to go. Yeah, definitely fuckboy status. <laughs> 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 so the way that it happened was Pope, <laughs> Pope Urban, uh, ha- they had a, they had a little council. Bad things happen at these councils. Yeah, councils are never good. They just anytime th- anytime you know, Muslims want to have a council, Christians want to have a council, or your doctors want to have a council, you might just want to sit down. Yeah, something bad's about to happen. Something bad's about to happen. You're about to get some bad news at eight o'clock on the Thursday. So, I mean, you are prostatitis. Yeah, it's prostatitis. 
So does it make your taint puffy? What does it do to you? Yeah, no, it's prostat- just prostatitis. No, 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 prostatitis. No, but the reason why we're joking is because I got fucking sodomized by the doctor. Yeah, I know. So it was just like, it was just a little bit like I didn't wasn't expecting that. And then I just got, he was like, we're going to have to go into your butt. And I was like, uh-oh, spaghetti Oh, well, yeah, that's how they find it. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Right no, but it was butt. wild. Have you ever gotten it? I've never gotten prostatitis. No. I mean, it's fucking wild what they got to do to your butt. He only got fingers. I got a fucking instrument shoved up my fucking ass. How long was, took it? The was it a clarinet? What was it? <laughs> it was a, yeah, no, it was a it was a probe, and it was fucking wild. I mean, it was wild. And they took a peek, and they were like, "Yeah, there's fucking prostate." Because I've just felt like I've had to pee for like three weeks every time I pee, and they're like, "It's because the fucking tate is is you know gotcha. inflamed." Thank you. What can you do? There's nothing you can do. I'm going to be honest with you guys right here on the podcast. The reason why I have prostatitis is I took it in the ass. Yeah. Yeah. I, I yeah. Mean, someone, someone asked me recently, <laughs> how much, how many, how many girls reach out to Chrissy? <laughs> how many, how many girls has Chrissy been with in his entire life? Why are you flexing your tits? Did why, I? Why'd you just do that? <laughs> I didn't know if I did. Why did you flex your tits individually? <laughs> yeah. Why did you do that? Why did you, why are you doing I that? don't know. Because you now you're looking at me. You're go ahead. Disturbed. What were you gonna say? I'm lightheaded. I'm disturbed. You're gonna go down, and it's just what it is. Because if you go down, just know that I do know CPR, uh, and I and I may or may not do it, but I will get on your lips. <laughs> <laughs> so somebody asked. They said, "How many women's Chrissy been?" And I said, "He's been with so many that if a guy slipped in there by accident, he wouldn't notice." Right. It's sort of like a raisin in oatmeal. You just might not see it. <laughs> yeah. You just might it just be like, oh, I may just look down and be like, he's got an Adam's apple. What can you do? It just got it just gets overpowered by all the oatmeal, but make no mistake, there was a raisin in there. There was a couple of raisins in yeah, there. The, by raisin, I mean there's a couple of guys. It's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, that's robots, some foreign language. Yeah. <laughs> that's Latvian. Wow. Nice. Wow, you went old school. Yeah. Um all right. I digress. Um <laughs> Um, so the fourth crusade, the fourth crusade was the interesting one because it was like a civil war. It was Christians fighting Christians instead of Christians fighting the Muzzies. So Pope Innocent III, who the kid was not innocent, um, he wanted to take back the Holy Land. I mean, every pope just wants to take back the Holy Land. It's like, God, give it up. It's not holy. Um, the crusaders, though, they got sidetracked and greedy because they're greedy little fucking— they're, Let's make, cause make no mistake. If you're going on a crusade, you're a greedy little fuck. You want to get your pauper paws on the Holy Land. So what happened was, is as they were crusading there, they just started fighting and killing each other. Um, so it kind of like fizzled out. But I will say, um, or Venetia will say, well, and also all the crusader states got recaptured by the Muzzies. Right, the Muzzies recaptured all the kingdoms them. that they set up got recaptured. But here's what happened: it ended up. Because Constantinople got so weak because of all the fighting, it ended up them being taken over by the Turks, and Constantinople uh, was renamed to Istanbul. And that's interesting because it's kind of like the Turks are Muslims too. So even within the faiths, they were like, dip, like yes, it was Christians versus Muslims, but it was certain Christians versus certain Muslims. And there is even one crusade, I forgot which one it was, I read it in my other book, where Christians and Muslims fought against another sect of Muslims. So it kind of gets like blurred lines. The first one was clearly, we are all Christians, we are all Muslims, but then it starts to get a little dicey right. as the crusades go on. Right. So, and then the Children's Crusade in 1212, which now some people are saying it wasn't children, it was actually, it was the Latin term for boys, but... Whatever. I mean, it was a bunch of children left. Tens of thousands of children uh, went across the Mediterranean to the Holy Land to crusade, and not one of them came back. So they were either all killed or sold into slavery. That was an interesting story, like where the kids, what were their names, like Alexander, Nicholas, and Stephen, that they thought they were German kids, and they thought German that they, kids, yeah, yeah, they thought that they saw God saying to them, "You need to get control of the Holy Land," and they're in France, I think, and so they went all the way, and they said that they walked, they went. By boats, and then they got... Yeah, and they thought, well, they thought <laughs> because of their childish innocence, they thought, oh, you know, that they'd be able to convert a couple... They'd be able to convert Muslims because they're just nice little kids. And it's like, <laughs> you know what? You just don't have heads. Yeah, you know what's nice about you kids? You make a nice fucking ornament. So that's what happened. They just got bled out. What are you yeah. going to do? Yeah, what are you going to do? Now your glasses are on sideways. You're going to go down. Yeah, I just... I feel lightheaded. I think I'm done. Oh. You, are you going to, like... Can I just read the Patreon names? Yeah, just read the Patreon names. All right, I'm just going to read the Patreon names. We're having a medical emergency with Giannis, but I'm just going to read the Patreon names quick. Laugh or don't laugh. If you pass out, I know it's a good one. Yeah. Whoever's the PPW, this one is is who makes Giannis' head hit off the fucking table. Uh, I think you're just having a little anxiety, if I'm being honest with you. I just, I'm 
fucking tired. Patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys. These people went and joined the matriarchy. There's there's a hundred of them. So honey, hun, yeah. just take a sip of water and just relax. I just chugged three. Okay. First up, Haley. Then we got Seth straight to the back and split crack, primo. Funny. Dante sent the salami to your boy in the army, Spafedora. That's he's up there. <laughs> Billy Powers. Ian, janitorial manager, collar bluer than my Catholic balls, Anderson. Oh, that's it. He went <laughs> I mean, in. He's up there. Yeah, he's up there. Yeah, you got that one, baby? Janitorial manager. Sean Spencer, who's um, the former, um, oh, no, it's Spicer. Who's the former secretary, House White House secretary? Sean Spicer. Sean Spitzer? Sean Spicer? I forgot. He had a moment. Now he's yeah. gone. Mason Doherty. Louis non-toot, non-fruit loop, discolored piece, half Greek, pipsqueak. I mean, that's the winner. He's in there. That's the winner. Pipsqueak, Mikey. Yeah. I mean, that's the winner. I mean, I know I can call it now. Joe Sue, I get asked if I'm a muzzy in every bodega. Melendez, Clyde Drexler. Yeah. Georgie Porgy put it in pie, cracked the girls open, and made them say yes. <laughs> That's another goodie. Another goodie. Yeah. Steven Hansen, drew the missing link August 24th, Reichstag, but I'm a Jew. Okay. Okay, he's good. Broke, Brock Monet, Brian Gray, Chrissy cracked me open in Tiramisu, a new one. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny. They're pretty good, yeah. 420? <laughs> <laughs> um, Michelle Patterson, Kyle, Jajor, Charles Pablo, Welcome. Johnny A. Welcome. Mussolini chose right Pellegrino. <laughs> it's a goodie, too. Graham Potts, Brendan Beal, Amanda LaBella, Olivia, Jorge, no papers, Bean, I'll sit on your lap for a green, Velasquez. <laughs> uh, it's a goodie. Oh, yeah, it's a goodie, I too. Mean, he's in the finals. Eddie, the introvert that I'll crack Chrissy and ignore the hey, Bert. Okay. He went for it. Uh, Reich Marshall, Andrew Schultz. <laughs> <laughs> it's up there. It's a goodie. Hyena here for the content. Good one. Nice. Andrew, I'm Irish, but my last name puts me on the no fly list, Malik. <laughs> Tens. Tyler Panel. Yeah. Samantha Highlands. <laughs> Alex. John. Brendan, the potato monkey, waiting for his turn to get cracked in the love sack. <laughs> Hilarious. Good one. A very lonely glue gun. That's a goodie. Yeah. Unique. Andy, Father Bill is not my father, but makes me call him daddy. <laughs> That's another goodie, yeah. Chuck the Cuck, JK, just a character piece, Pendexter. That's a goodie. Claude Brian, Drexler. make no mistake, Bay Ridge is on Long Island. Austin, S -L -K -S. Billy underscore Collins. Good one. Lachlan, not screwed in yet, but I'll suck your bottom lip, Johnston. <laughs> Ten. Another goodie. Cute Leroy Peace. Goodie. Thanks for the casinos, cuz. True Blue Native. Sam Brugelli. Chrissy Butt Sluts, Puddles and Nuts in My Guts. <laughs> it's another goodie. That another goodie. That one you like that one, Mikey? Mike open bad. Uh, Michael woke while smoking dope and stroking my pseudo penis. Good. 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 Yeah. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Jared Yee. Yeah. Dom. Andrew Becker. Chrissy D's Cum Stain Love Sack. <laughs> Kylie Tanner. Matty Matriarchy, the Giannis of Gowanus, a.k.a. Chrissy Cracks Whores. <laughs> Non-toot, but pick me up on West 43rd. <laughs> Loose booty, cable guy, tux and fucks. These are all really funny. Giannis is just about to pass out. Yeah, no, so, they're all good. But yeah. Just understand that these are really great. I'm, I'm sorry the energy is low, but Giannis is going to go down. Okay? We did, what do we do, like two hours with girls yeah. out of eat? I'm just out of gas. Yeah, Giannis is out of gas. He's, yeah. Just, so we'll just, I'll go real quick. Um, Chrissy Clarendon D. <laughs> Daxton Griner. George Sellas, Zach Buckman, Daniel Few Fumes, but still cute with a piece, Johan. Clyde Drexler. Adrian Fumeless Ginger Zap. <laughs> Funny. Ashley Hazlitt. Julian Local 3, but make no mistake, I voted for Hillary. Bad. Arroyo. <laughs> and Eileen Franks and Beans. 10. Andrew White Walker with a Whitney T and a La Puss Lopez. <laughs> Pepin the Squeak, King of the Franks and Beans. Oh, love. Yeah. Love. Timmy T, the cracked open and cleaned out cutie with a smoothie. Nice. Christopher, eight inches of salami, but three of them a foreskin Heath bar. Okay. <laughs> Stevie, dip it low like Robert Moe. Nice. <laughs> Brian P. Straight to the back. You probably won't like me because I'm from Kentucky, but make no mistake. I got cut off. Yeah, I hate too many. You can't make them too long, guys. Yeah. I yes, please. Off. Justin DiPietro. Mateo, Giannis, Dick Slap, Mike, Stan, Marino. <laughs> Joe, I think it's an STD Panzarella. All Je the Italians are fun. Jess, parentheses, I got full-blown fumes. <laughs> Chatty. 
Rob, pound my Polish bag, Chrissy D, you Nazi beefcake, Sawaski. John Hernandez, Jacob Logley, Liam, my life is a constant ladder 14 and good try straight to the back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Polak with the kielbasa that make no mistake is in your daughter. Okay, nice one, but That's don't right. talk about my kid. <laughs> uh, Matt, I'm an illegal immigrant, so my glue gun is a little different. Oh, wait. For me, put him in contention. In contention, okay. Kenny Vago, Sharon O'Shaughnessy, Adam G., Paul Gorman, Donato the Sauce Monkey trapped in Rockaway Beach, the Giacomo. <laughs> German kid that looks like a sauce monkey, no fumes, dark pubes. Nice. Chris. Okay. D, a.k.a. low-key, cracks open Muzzy's Vincenzi. <laughs> Tense. Tense. Christopher Vlachagianis. Jesus, how many do we got? Michael Bailing, a few more. Yeah. Corey, the blonde hair, blue eyed Russian truffle pig, Kuzensov. It's <laughs> <laughs> a goodie. Chris Maloney, Kevin Sanchez. Danny, I may be trans, but you can still catch these hands. McGlynn. Put him on for me. Yeah. 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 Kenny Crotchman, Christian Kuthron. Hey for the town time. Joey, turn me around, spank me down, and call me 420. <laughs> <laughs> That's Nick, another put him on the list. Nick, not an FF, but I got IBS, Mastro Giannis. <laughs> I mean, it's close out oh, strong. God, I killer. mean, there's, there's, you guys are getting so good, it's getting Difficult. all right. Yeah. Just real quick, who's five? Give us five of them. All right, so it was Danny. I may be trans, but you'll still catch these hands, McGlynn. Okay. And then try to go all the way to the front. Sorry. Okay. He's up there. Uh, then Dante, send a salami to your boy in the Army, Spafedora. Ian, janitorial manager, <laughs> collar bluer than my Catholic balls, Anderson. Uh, Jorge, no papers, Bean. I'll sit on your lap for a green Velasquez. Yeah. Uh, let's see. That's the scroll. I'm sorry. And uh, a very lonely glue, glue gun. Wait, there's one, one other one. What was the first? Yeah, yeah, it was the first one. Um, there was a big one. It was, it was something with a squeak. I th yeah, I think oh, he's the winner. That was later on. No, no, no. There was an earlier one with the squeak. Oh, sorry. Louis, non toot, non fruit, loop, discolored piece, half Greek pip squeak. Yeah. That is that the one? one? That's yeah. the that winner? That's the one that was the best. Okay, that's the one. Louis, non toot, non fruit, loop, discolored piece, half Greek pip squeak. You're the PPW, pseudo penis yeah. of the week. Um, Our sponsors. Oh, yeah, our sponsors. Yeah. You know who they fucking are. <laughs> you tell us. Well, ja first of all, big time shout out to James Altucher. I'll go see him. Let's go see his club, Stand Up New York. And then Tank Sinatra, go to at Tank's Good News um, and at Tank Sinatra on Instagram. I mean, the kid, he also came out to the Gotham shows. Tank, you're just a great guy. And Tank's Good News just puts you in a good mood. So go see them. Um, those guys, we really appreciate uh, all your support. Um, and then 9th Street Auto Collision, you know, it's fucking cars. It's, it's on Long Island. It's on 9th Street. Uh, uh, it's, on, it's, it's in Long Island. It's not on 9th Street. It's not on 9th Street, but so, I don't know, man, just drive your car out on the it's island. It's in Huntington, uh, Long Island. Huntington, yeah. and then just ask somebody. That's so we got that. Then yeah. we got the other kid, fucking Nutrition Made Fun. Matt, Co Matt, Matt Coke. Matt Coke, who's probably going to be, who's probably going to kill us if we ever go to Seattle and, and use our skin and put it in a fucking beet salad. Um. <laughs> Then we got uh, Dr. Harvey Spencer, who I, who's got go to his uh, uh, very happy smile, very happy smile, and go go. Uh, he's a dentist. It's not a very happy smile. Uh, healthy happy smile. <laughs> yeah. Healthy happy smile. Go to Dr. Harvey Spencer. It's a, he, down there in South Carolina now. I guess he's got he's a rapper now. So I mean, people just doing whatever they fucking want to do. So I guess we'll have to read out his. We'll have to play his rap song, which we're looking forward to. I guess if you want um, to play Mo America, <laughs> Mo Amber. yeah. So it's like, you know, it's what I need is a guy fucking, you know, dropping bars while I'm trying to fill a cavity. It's like, pick a lane, um, <laughs> you know? So, but I can't wait to hear it. Um, Lakeside Maple. Lakeside Maple. Get, go to lakesidemaple.com. Best way to consume it is put it in your ass. Put it in your ass. Put it on a little yogurt. It's good for the prostate. Lakeside Maple. Uh, Dr. Sandri is easy, who does GI stuff, but is also uh, a comedian. So it's like... Go, you want to get your colon cracked open and cleaned out? Go to Dr. Sandra is easy. Does he have an Instagram? What is it? Dr. Souls. Dr. Souls. D R S O L E S. Correct. Dr. Souls. So go him if you're having a little GI issues. Yeah. Um, <laughs> CBD script. CBD script. Which if, you know, if you want to get to another planet because life is just too hard, go to CBD script. I mean, they, they'll they're on CBDs themselves. They never really given us real copy. You don't know if they have a website. What the promo code <laughs> is? Just Google CBD script <laughs> and I guess put in hyenas, Yanni Long Days, a cock. I mean, just it's, fuck it. CBDscript.com, and the promo code is Hyenas15. Yeah. Hyenas15, which yeah. is a random 15 that you got.
got to remember. So, I mean, you know, it's just <laughs> one more. Off. 15%. <laughs> oh, yeah, 15% off, which is like, you know, 15% off. It's like just pay full price. It's CBD. It's, you know, and, what uh, can you do? And uh, Lakeside Maple is promo code WILD. Lakeside Maple, promo code WILD. That's easier. It's four letters. And then is there one I'm missing? That's all of them. I think that's everybody, right? Yeah. So go check those people out. We really appreciate them having it. Um, you know, it's almost 2020, and things are going to start to get a little different. <laughs> Awesome. Yana, yeah. Uh, go to historyanus.com. Um, go to Chris D Comedy. Chris D Comedy dot com. Chris yeah. to Giannis Papas Comedy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, com. Dot com. I got a lot of shows coming up. Um, so go check them out, especially January. It's Mikey Mo Mikey will be with me at the Celebrity Theater, January twenty fifth, um, in Atlantic City, uh, Spaceland Ballroom, Hamden, Connecticut, January twenty fourth, and then Denver Comedy Works January second to the fourth. Um, so go check those out. And then also our t shirts. What we honest your dates you have? Uh, you're gonna yeah. be at Gotham next next in February. Yeah, Gotham Comedy Club, uh, February 21st and 2nd, and Uncle Vinny's uh, 28th and 29th, February. So go to GiannisPappasComedy. GiannisPappasComedy.com. Yep. Uh, yeah, so we have T-shirts on at our Teespring store. So uh, we're gonna have one T-shirt. It's only available for the Christmas season. Uh, and got, Hanukkah wanna, season. Yeah, <laughs> and the Kwanzaa, and Kwanzaa season. season. You wanna <laughs> tell them about it, Ventia? Uh, yes, uh, I'm actually really excited that this is gonna be limited time. Um, Mike is going to put on his uh, online his Cuties with Smoothies shirt. And I'm going to be we the first one. We should love it. I fucking love it. Okay? And that's why we're going to put it out. But just for the holiday season. So go get them. I def am going to be the first one to get them. Perfect. I'm getting one, too. I think I'm going to buy def. one. Def. Yeah, I'm definitely going to get one. I, bu I buy all the merch. I buy my own merch. Yeah. So it's what it is. Um, thank you if you guys uh, you know hear this episode. Um, go to iTunes. Go to iTunes, yeah. Leave and us a review. Leave us a review, and we'll be at Methodist Hospital. I'm taking Giannis to the ER. Yeah. <laughs>